Hey, this is Mike. I'm checking out this work truck. It's a 2015 Ram 1500. And it's pretty much a plain drain work truck, regular cab truck. Has the V6, 3.6 liter. Does have the 8 speed transmission, so you'll get really good gas mileage. But, um, you know, it's just a, just a rugged truck. It's not too high off the ground. And it has a long bed here, so um, really made for working. You can see it has the 17 inch steel wheels on it. it has the black bumper as well as the grill. No fog lights. It has halogen, what they call quad halogen headlights. Side mirrors are not heated, but they do fold away manually. You got a one piece glass there. It does have the plenty of room there in the back in the bed. This one's got the class four, I think it's class four receiver hitch with the dual plugs here seven and four and this has no power like lock so the tailgate you'll have to manually using the key uh, lock it and unlock it I went ahead and unlocked it so I can show you the bed that it has the uh, factory spray and bed liner And this is a flex fuel vehicle. You can use up to 85% uh, ethanol uh, or E85 gasoline. Here's the inside of the door. Pretty good sized door. Seems like it's uh, it's bigger than the, the the crew and the quad cab doors. You got manual windows. Big pocket there at the bottom all black there's no two-tone there's no um, no embellishments there it does have vinyl seats with a vinyl floor and um, there is some storage behind the seats storage space there pretty good amount of space back there and it does have room for this is not a bench seat this is like a you know bucket seats but it does have a place here this flips up and you have a place where a, th a third middle passenger can sit and it has the seat belts and all that but the, the driver's seat and the the passenger seat over there uh, can adjust main you know individually so that's 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 helpful do you have automatic headlights here's the dimmer switch this is a cargo light um, pushing that light will Turn on a light up here that will illuminate the entire bed at nighttime. You have a, 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 tele, a, a tilt steering. Very comfortable seats. Just, I mean, all rims have very comfortable seats. So, as far as working in this truck, it's comfortable, it's big enough. To where you have room to get in and out of it's not too not too high up which i like and the v6 trans uh, v6 engine with the with the eight speed transmission it's getting 25 miles per gallon on the highway so it's not too bad actually it gets a little bit more than that i was i've got another video where i uploaded i was in a v6 regular cab eight speed transmission truck did have a shorter uh bed and it wasn't a work truck and i was getting about 30 miles 31 miles per gallon on the highway and i videoed it on the screen there because i didn't know you know nobody would believe me so you can check out that video if you want but this is the the tradesman regular cab two-wheel drive I'm going to put all this stuff in the description, but if you want to use the pause button and check it out now, you could. 
All right, you've got a uh, hard plastic dash um, in the same design as some of the others. And uh, has a little bit of cushion here on the steering wheel, which has a good thickness too. Here on the right, we've got your cruise control buttons uh, on the steering wheel. And right above it is your gear. Um, you can change the gears if you need to, gear selector. Uh, this does have an 8-speed transmission, so while you change the gears just by, you know, turning this knob. But let's say you're driving and you're going down a, a steep grade or um, a hill or whatever, and uh, you need to shift uh, down or up to use some of your engine braking, um, you can use the, those buttons there. Now this one does not have any, um, no buttons on the back of the steering wheel like some of the trucks for the volume, um, but it does have over here some buttons here and that corresponds with this, this menu system. Here's the gauges, real plain and simple, but right here in the middle uh, if you need some more information, right now it's in the, um, the speedometer. So I'm going to go back out of that, scroll down. This is the vehicle info. I'm going to go into that menu. And you can see it shows the tire pressure on each tire. Transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, and then this whole summary. And um, you also get the current fuel economy. Uh, you know, of course, this uh, vehicle only has 60 miles, so it doesn't have any kind of average uh, to really speak of right now. Trip A. Now, the trips are uh, pretty good because it, does, it gives you more than just the distance. It also gives you an average miles per gallon and the time spent on that trip. It has two trips. Messages will be stored there. Uh, set up the screen. Basically, you can put different things there at the top. Or right now, it has a temperature. You can say put distance to empty or something like that, or range or whatever it's called in this truck. Um, settings. Uh, there are certain settings you can change. Um, the language. Uh, you can change it to kilometers per hour. Different things like that. And you can turn the menu off if you wanted to. But I'm going to put it back in speedometer mode because that's the most most common thing. So there's that part. It does have a regular key. I'm going to turn it off to show you. There's the key. There's no buttons on it. And uh, I don't even think it's a security key or anything. It's just a plain old key. Cheap to replace. That's a plus in a lot of, a lot of ways. Some of the keys can be very expensive. Alright, so starting it back up. Alright, so over here I showed you the shifter. Um, it's just a dial and you ch you know change to the gear you want. And um, right up here you've got like a little storage pocket. Just throw your cell phone or something up there. Here's the radio. It's got AM, FM, and that's about it. Not a huge amount of options here. It's got presets. Now, um, it doesn't have a CD player or anything, but it does have the ability to play uh, through a USB or auxiliary uh, inputs there. So you can pretty much plug whatever you want into that and play me through the system. So that's a really good thing. Volume, tune, um, there's a menu system that you can go into there. And here's your climate controls, pretty basic. The, the fan speed, the temperature, and where you want the air to blow. Uh, tow and haul button, you can push that in case you're push, you know, pulling a heavy trailer or something. And um, it does have traction control. And you can turn that off if you get stuck or something. You need to spin your tires or whatever. You got a power supply on that side, as well as that side. Little pocket there. And this is like a little tray that pops out. And it gives you some, you know, like a junk drawer type thing. You see it has plenty of room to put your feet there in the center as well as the sides. You have cup holders here in the middle and um, this is your console and this is where I was showing you before where your inputs for your radio but also you have a big storage area here and is in also another power supply there as well. And then this lifts up. 
you got plenty of room there. There's a kind of a quick access um, open pocket there. This opens up, there's your glove compartment. And the visors don't have any, I don't think that, that one doesn't have a mirror, that one does. But let's take a look under the hood. We do have an insulated battery here, and um, here's a 3.6 liter V6. You notice there's a whole bunch of extra room there in the front. So, uh, you know, because some of these trucks have V8s and and um, all kinds of different things. So, you know, the v little V6 just kind of it looks small in this truck, but it runs out pretty good. You'd be surprised how much power it has uh, driving it. Alright, there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave it in the comments. If you have anything to add about this truck, um, you know, anything that I missed out or got wrong, just let me know in the comments. And I appreciate you watching. If you can like and subscribe to, subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. Share the videos with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.